Pullman author and in this video we will be continuing the second part of the work on Black Rocket Vanguard in the form EDV filings. Now the place that we left off and this isn't going to of course just be only about Black Rocket Vanguard but many entities that link to each other generally speaking going back to those two main names of course these are the names on particular funds which have accounts and the way to think about it is that these funds are like revolving reservoirs for funding and the accounts are those that are linked to this revolving reservoir of funds uh, and are the only ones who essentially have access to pull from it so last we stopped at the Camps Bay Fund, which is a subset fund of the um, Black Rock Fund Advisors Fund. And then we move on to Black Rock Asset Management Ireland, Lincoln Pension Private Equity, Black Rock Asset Management Canada Limited, Gestion de Actifs BOK, assume that's black, Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia, Nunavut, Ontario, Prince Edward Island, Quebec, Saskatchewan, and Yukon, so basically all of Canada. Next we have BAA Custom Partnerships, Fair Lane Investments, Partners, BOPA1, Genpar, Oak Marsh Global Opportunities Fund, Genpar Global Energy and Power Infrastructure 2. So that's an interesting name there, Global Power, Global Energy and Power Infrastructure, as in, you know, municipal works companies, things like that. BlackRock Gemini, Tenenbaum Senior, Capitol Hill Company. <clears throat> now that's an interesting there name, uh, name there, Capitol Hill Company Investment Fund because Capitol Hill is allegedly the place that the so-called U.S. Code government is situated. Next we have GCO Lux Multifeeder, BlackRock Fund Managers Limited, Belgium, and the United Kingdom. Next we have SVOF-MM Ireland, or forward slash, High Rock. So that's an interesting name where right? you got BlackRock and now here we've got High Rock. Black Rock Bowling Green, which is an area in Ohio. Mercury Carry Company. That's a weird name, right? Like they carry Mercury. Mer that's a hard word for me to say for some reason. Mercury. Black Rock Property France TCP iShares Delaware Trust. Now what's really important here is that iShares is Black Rock. And also Carta. So, iShares does business as Carta, and Carta is a name on the majority of these filings. So, like I said, these things all connect together. They'll go black, back to BlackRock at Vanguard, basically. Fixed Income Opportunities, Nero. BlackRock Homestead, Private Opportunities. Oh, and then to go back to Fixed Income Opportunities, that is, you find that across many of these filings, which is basically the idea that they have fixed an income for everyone you have a cap on how much you're allowed to make in this system, but they do not. They can hypothecate on your fixed income, and basically uh, the way it works is that you, you take out a loan based off of someone else's assets, or your own, either way, and then you use that loan as collateral for another loan, and so on and so forth, and it keeps growing. Well, of course, they hypothecate on absolutely everything, including things that they don't own, never will own, and are theoretical, like future revenues. So next we have Spider Rock Advisors, Black Rock Asset Management, Schweitz, Liechtenstein, Schweiz, or Schweiz, out of Liechtenstein and Switzerland, Topanga Private Equities, Tannenbaum, Waterman. Yeah, weird name, right? Tannenbaum, Water, or Tannenbaum, Waterman. Black Rock McKinney Opportunities, 1824 Private Equity GP. It's a very specific date. The year 1824, I assume, is what it's referencing. 
but I'm not really sure. BlackRock U.S. Commercial Real Estate Whole Loan Fund. Yep, that's a name on one of their accounts. Uh, well, on one of their subset subsidiary funds. Solvent Way Opportunities GP Coastline Fund BlackRock Lease Credit Project Glow Co Investment Fund. Neil, that's yeah, that's something that I haven't seen pop up anywhere else. Is this Project Glow here? But that sounds um, like governmental agency kind of thing, like CIA maybe. Neil Enhanced Opportunities Markwood Private Opportunities. BlackRock Securitized Investors Middle Market Senior Fund, BlackRock GSA. Now, here's a big one right here. GSA normally stands for General Services Administration, which if you're not familiar with them, they're particularly important to pretty much all facets of federal governmental things. They are the supplier, essentially, for... Well, the Defense Logistics Agency works with GSA, for defense supply and many other things. So that's a pretty big one for BlackRock to own, right? The entire General Services Administration. Empire PM B 2017 to 2010 Genpar LLC, BlackRock Institutional Trust Company, China, India and United Kingdom. 1885 Private Opportunities GP LLC, Orange Pep GP, BlackRock Infrastructure Management out of the Cayman Islands. Taiwan Aperio Group Decarbonization Partners. That's a creepy name. So BlackRock, as we suspected and as we basically knew, is behind the depopulation mission of destroying humanity, basically. Boardwalk One Coin Opportunities, iShares Germany. Like I said, iShares is Carta. BlackRock Operations Luxembourg, BlackRock Diversified Private Debt Fund, BlackRock Private Equity Primaries 2021, European Hedge Fund, Orange 2015, Dislo Credit Fund, APO Global Healthcare, BlackRock Asset Management, North Asia, China, Hong Kong, India, South Korea, TSCL Private Markets, BIS Brasos Infrastructure, BLK 2019, Evergreen GP, SARL, BlackRock Channel Islands Limited, Jersey, the country of Jersey, not New Jersey, the country. High Street GP, G, L, GID program, US, Project Finale. That's a big one there. Project Finale is, has a final event linked to it. So one has to wonder what exactly Project Finale is. So you, in here you've got two projects mainly that are highlighted, which is pretty big deal considering BlackRock owns a majority, if not all, of the so-called government that we, what we call government, and the states and everything else, and pretty much all the assets, and they have two projects, one project low and the other project finale. So those would be some things to look out for on other filings, maybe. Who knows, if these, of course, are active projects, super secret stuff, then there wouldn't be any filings available right now for them. NDSIB Private Opportunities, BlackRock Private Income Solutions. There we got more with the income. BlackRock Inverwood Private Opportunities, VFO Company, BlackRock Broadway Fund, BlackRock Master Hedge Fund. Blue Pennsylvania, or Peninsula, Blue Peninsula Fund. Yeah, that's an interesting one right there. FM Private Opportunities, especially considering all the Act Blue, the United Nations Blue, the Back the Blue, all that, you know, blue stuff. Fund Future Advisors Incorporated, NMERB, Sierra Blanca, BlackRock Cascade Opportunities, Co-Investment Income Fund, Charles Shun, SIK Park, is the CEO. So that would be Charles Shun Sick Park, probably, I don't know, it's definitely a Korean name there. BlackRock Delaware Holdings Incorporated is the sole shareholder. So BlackRock owns BlackRock, owns BlackRock, or at least this fund anyway, this BlackRock Investment Fund Company, whatever, uh, is owned by, as sole shareholder, uh, by BlackRock Delaware Holdings Incorporated. So yeah, that's just uh, layers within layers, so you can't find out who is obviously doing this stuff because it's pretty heinous. They have Robert Lawrence Goldstein is the COO or director. Robert Andrew Dixon is the director. Martin Smalls, director. And of course, these names could all easily be fake. 
Now, they paid the SEC $340,000 for violating Whistleblower Act, January 25th, 2017. Now, if that doesn't sound like a slap on the wrist, then I don't know what could, possibly. And, because obviously $350,000 is nothing for a fine, for violating, of all things, the Whistleblower Act. That's, you know, why? why? What, what, what were they trying to cover up, of course? You know, considering this filing, it's pretty obvious some of the possibilities... And obviously, they basically own the SEC, so don't need to worry about them. iShares MSCI Russia capped ETF Russia fund ETF. iShares MSCI MSCI Russia capped ETF Russia fund company. Then, interestingly, of the Chicago Board of Trade stated that BlackRock exceeded positions then prescribed by the board rules. And for that, they paid 119605 So basically, they paid themselves because obviously, if they are on all the board positions for the Board of Trade, then they find themselves, essentially, for Chicago. Next, you have Mr. Batista. So that's an interesting one, right? That's the only time on this file that you find the word Batista. Mr. Batista. There's no first name or any other information about it. So it's a very mysterious there. Paid 60000 to the SEC and multiple fines were paid to the German BAFW for Brexit restructuring. <laughs> That's a pretty weird thing to pay a fine for. BlackRock Incorporated, BlackRock Investment and BlackRock Advisors, BlackRock Fund Advisors, iShare Trust, collectively BlackRock. So yes, you have all of these different, these different, um, you know, loop. Uh, it's it's almost like a, a private, uh, a VPN, a virtual private network, where you have one entity that's bouncing through another entity, bouncing through another entity, and so on and so forth. And so you can never actually pin down who's uh, where the original source comes from. But at least with some of these, you can pin down uh, operators. And more importantly, you can pin down the um, the actual codes and accounts that are linked to these funds so that they could be targeted, maybe zeroed out, who knows. But of course, if you did that, considering the fact that in this financial structure with their control over everything, they can just make another one. Mexico BlackRock did not give notice. Okay, well, in Mexico, BlackRock did not give notice when users were redirected by third-party websites, and for that they paid $164,000. That's quite a joke. And that's Mexico, right? So this we got Germany here, we got Mexico, and the SEC here, and it looks like they're actually funding these things under the guise of being fined. And that was August 2nd, 2024. Next we have BlackRock Financial. That's the uh, the last name on this one. <clears throat> so let's move on to the next fund under BlackRock called BlackRock Investment Management. <clears throat> At one University Square Drive, Princeton, New Jersey, that's their main office at the university, uh, which of course is also where the office of Mercer is. So imagine that. <clears throat> next you have Philadelphia PA as, is a has an office at that location in Dallas, Texas as well, Seattle, Washington, Wilmington, Delaware, Boston, Massachusetts, Boca Raton, Florida, Charlotte, North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, Miami, Florida, San Francisco, California, and Denver, Colorado. And those, of course, are just the offices under this fund. And this document is 654 pages. Uh, also on this list, naturally, you have Iron Mountain. D-O-O Novi Banovci out of Pak, Serbia. Then, of course, with those fun names, Shredded Dubai at 10 Sana Road, Ras Al Khor Industrial Area, Dubai, UAE, or United Arab Emirates, T-E-S-A-M-M -M Corp, China, Crown Worldwide Korea, Evanson Best LLC, New York City, UNE or UNE, UN Peace and Plu, or One More Peace, something like that. Rio Malmaison, France. Then you have 14, four, well, 1,483 employees, 
four hundred and fifty eight trillion in this account and seven hundred and f wait no it's forty six thousand accounts okay yeah so you got forty eight trillion and four hundred and sixty thousand accounts no forty six thousand accounts there's still a, a massive discrepancy there you would imagine that that's still a lot of accounts but 458 trillion is is possibly beyond comprehension for most people financially then you have orion portfolio solutions the ubs bank of course ameriprise edward jones amplify ashton thomas private wealth betterment citizens advisory connect sigfig wealth and Janny Montgomery Scott, LLC. Stifle Niklaus & Company, Commonwealth Financial Network, Citigroup Global Markets Incorporated, Morgan Stanley, Raymond James, D.A. Davidson, Robert Baird, Freedom Investment, E-Trade, everybody knew they were a scam, Further, Farther, BNY Advisors, Asset Mark, GWN Securities, Capital Analyst, Analysts, Kalos Management, Charles Schwab and Company, of course, Hanlon Investment Management, Simplicity Solutions, <clears throat> Fidelity Brokerage, LPL Financial, Merrill Lynch, Pierce Fenner, Ronald Blue and Company, Pershing Dynasty. Now, Ronald Blue is something that pops up a lot, by the way, especially with that word, their code word there, Blue. Wells Fargo Investment PMC, PNC Asset Management Group, PNC AMG Tactical All Location Portfolios, Pacific Financial, U.S. Trust, BlackRock Incorporated, Trident, Merger. It's an interesting name for a, a subset fund there, BlackRock, Trident, Merger. Lawrence Douglas, Frank Robert, Stephen Capito, Robert Lawrence, Goldstein, Charles Shunsick Park, Christopher Joseph Mead, Martin Small, Vesey Street Fund out of the Cayman Islands, those, of course, are the individual names associated with it. Now, those names, which we'll go over again, were associated with the other account, which are, of course, um, Charles Shun Sick Park, right? That same name that was on the other account, the other fund. Christopher Joseph Mead was not on the other account. Martin Small, I think, was. Anyway, also, this uh, fund has Toro ABS. CDO1, Daniel Rewalt, uh, Christy, Ramon, Credit Suisse Securities New York, or Credit Suisse Securities USA New York, Ian Pilgrim William Woods, Price Waterhouse Coopers AG Zurich, Switzerland. And now here's an interesting one right here NJDOI, which is out of New Jersey, that DOI is the Department of Insurance for New Jersey. Well, isn't that interesting that they're listed on a subsidiary subset fund on this BlackRock fund? Although it's not really surprising, to be honest. Opportunistic Real Estate Investment Program, <clears throat> NJDOI Core Plus Real Estate, Delaware. That's just, that's just a really strange name, isn't it? But out of Delaware, the state but it's the New Jersey Department of Insurance. State Street Cayman Trust Company, LTD, Sacramento, California. Navarro One Fund, Texas. Now, I'm, I don't remember, but I do believe Navarro was a name list associated with Mexican cartels. Next, you have ERB Tactical Opportunities, Wilmington Trust Investment Management, Buffalo, New York City. You have the Deutsche Bank out of Singapore, Hong Kong. Geneva, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Frankfurt, London. Uh, yeah. Then you have DB, DB UK Limited, BNP, Paribas, SA Paris, France, All Funds, Bank, SAV, Madrid, Spain, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Societe, COO, Cooperative, or Cooperative, not CO, but just Cooperative, Luxembourg. Christian Brothers Investment Services is our next fund we're going to look at. And this is pretty, gets pretty obvious what this is about. The universal church types of stuff, which of course would be connected to BlackRock 
and Vanguard, but with a lot of distancing because it does appear that a lot of the stuff revolves around the Vatican and the Universal Church and that sort of universalist, globalist type uh, control structure. Now, Christian Brothers Investment Services is listed at, at 125 South Wacker Drive, Suite 2400, Chicago, Illinois. So far, so good, right? They're based out of Chicago. On this is listed Microsoft Azure, North Lake, Illinois, Smarsh, Portland, Oregon, ISS Rockville, Maryland, Proxy Voting Records. It's a pretty weird one, right? Proxy Voting Records. That's what uh, is ISS out of Rockville, Maryland. Now, this has 34 employees, 10 billion, and 13 accounts. That's not suspicious. The Catholic Responsible Investing Service Services is listed on here. CBIS Global Funds, European Equity Fund, Ireland. And the um, individuals with this are Andrea Favaloro, Fiergal Dempsey, Jeffrey McCroy, Lisa Martinson, Peter Cam, Institutional Asset Management, All Funds Bank International SA Luxembourg, Banco Popolare di Sandrio, that's out of Sandrio, Italy, Banque de Gruff out of Brussels, or um, Brussels, Belgium, Popular Banca Privada of Madrid, Spain, Arca SGR SPA, Fonds Megler Skebet, I'm definitely saying that wrong, um, Major Investment um, AIS, Hardman Johnston Global Advisors LLC, Wellington Management Company LLP, and of course Wellington is also a name that has popped up previously on uh, Vanguard, Christian Brothers of the Midwest District, De La Salle Institute, Frère de Col Chrétien, so that's uh, Brothers of Christian Schools in French, William Robert Rybeck, FSC, Dana Trust, Pamela Gleason, John Wesley, Gaysinger, Edward Patrick, Mooney, Jeffrey Allen McCroy, Martin Pedrajo Roja, uh, Rocas, Roberto Arencia, which is, by the way, a weird name there because Arencia means inheritance. Matthew Ashley Swindeman, Christine Cecilia Nova, Novatoni, and Carolyn Ann Shields. And I don't believe probably these people even exist. As with most of these filings, you have to take it with a grain of salt and expect that they may be lying. Of course, the other thing about this is that those are the names associated with the accounts that are listed on these funds and are the names that you would put on forms when you fill out a pull request for funding. Next, we're going to start with this fund, 140 Summer Partners, listed at 888 7th Street, 5th floor out of New York City, also 28 Nexus Way, Kamana Bay, Cayman Islands, 2nd floor, um, yeah, there. It has 13 employees, 2 billion, and three accounts. Uh, listed on this are Ernst Young LTD with also the same address at the Cayman Islands, Goldman, Goldman Sachs and Co Company, New York City, JP Morgan Securities, New York, Barclays Bank PLC, New York, Citgo Banking Corp, uh, NV Curacao. So that's interesting. They're, they're at a, this one's do, going through Curacao. Credit Suisse International, United Kingdom, Sitco Canada, Toronto, Sitco Fund, Administration, Cayman, Com Cayman, uh, Kamana Bay, and the Cayman Islands. Jason Fitzgerald, Peter Rosenblum, or Peter Watkins Rosenblum. Vihaya Balan Murugesu, Kevin Raymond, ARPS, Jessica Abigail Davis, and Eloise Watkins are names on this account. Now notice, of course, Eloise Watkins as the same last name as the middle name for Peter Watkins Rosenblum. So that's interesting. 38 AE, or this is the next fund, AE Blue Capital. No information is listed. It's uh, 
registered out of Delaware, of course. It lists Status Management of Seattle, Washington, Chase J.P. Morgan, and Matthew Chase Levy, but no other information on that filing, which means it was either erased, because otherwise why bother filing if you're not going to put any information on it, or something else is going on there. After that, we have A-Star Capital Fund, Frank Riemerman and Company, San Francisco, California, Carta Securities, which like I said before, Carta is iShares, which is BlackRock, San Francisco, California, First Citizens Bank and Trust, formerly Silicon Valley Bank, out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Aduro Advisors, Denver, Colorado, A-Star Partners, CT2 LLC, Delaware, Genmet Siegel, Kevin Hartz, and Gautam Gupta, our names on that, AFF Fund, 3565 Piedmont Road, Atlanta, Georgia. 54 employees, 1 billion, 718 million, and 13 accounts. So again, more interesting numbers there. Meyer Hoffman McCann PC, Kansas City, Missouri. The Ardent Companies, Matthew Jason Schumann, Schulman, Schulman, yeah, there's an L there. Dror Bazale, that's a weird name. Dror Bas. Bezalel, B-E-Z-A-L-E-L, Michael Connor DeGantz, Todd McMichael, Tara Williger, AC, uh, and AC member is is a member, so that's weird. Kingsfield Point, uh, Aaron Hirsch, and Toby Hirsch. Those are that's that account. Next, we have Antler Innovation U.S. out of Austin, Texas, and Delaware, formed out of Delaware. Principal office in Austin, Texas, but formed out of Delaware, as most of these are. Vincier Tech, PTE Singapore. Ernst & Young, Sydney, Australia. iShares Incorporated, doing businesses of Carta Incorporated. So there, it specifically stipulates that iShares, which is BlackRock, is doing business as Carta. And Carta is on nearly all of these filings that I've looked at. Uh, Weefing o Un is a name on it. There's Magnus Grimland, Medbo Vigard, uh, or Vegard Medbo. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah, Vegard's the first name, Medbo's the last name. Uh, Fried, Friedhof Berg, Bjarn Abrahamson, Ronald Tyler Norwood, Kevin Douglas Walsh, is the a U.S. partner listed specifically as U.S. partner, as is Ronald Tyler Norwood. They're listed specifically as U.S. partners, so the other ones aren't. Adrian Dacton, Global Head of Compliance. Next, we have Blazer Asset Management of Brooklyn, New York, with uh, Artemis ACCTG Corporation, 26 Wildberry Court, Comac, New York City, and Todd Deutsch is a uh, name on the account, but there's no other information on this one. No funds, no employees, no nothing. Just completely blank. Next we have Bourbon Financial out of Illinois. One employee, 81 accounts, and zero dollars. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Patrick Charles Bourbon is the name on the account. Next we have Candlestick Capital Management, Greenwich, Connecticut. Obviously formed out of Delaware as usual. 43 employees, six billion dollars, and four accounts. With, naturally, the Cayman Islands involved, Jennifer Thompson, John Ackerley, Vincent Citarella, or Arma Vincent Vincente Armando Citarella, is maybe how you say that, Morgan Stanley, Bermuda, Goldman Sachs, and then there's, of course, many others that are the usual names that we're just repeating at this point, John Woodruff, Craig Markham, Bench, Michelle Francis, Fra Francis Tan, or Francis Tan, Ralph Pagano, you have Two Creeks Ventures, number two, James Murdoch, McGovern, Woodruff, 2019 Family Trust. Those are, of course, the owners of this one, allegedly. Thank you.